pain. It was another night of contentious public comment. So are you just going to close this school? I think it would be really short-sighted to sell Broderbill right away. Think about the people that you are moving from place to place. IPS held public hearings tonight about the closing of Broad Ripple High School, one of the four high schools that IPS recommended for closing or conversion into a middle school. One of the school system's most valued properties, Broad Ripple High School, was recommended to be closed and sold. But the real estate deal isn't going over well with the community. So I implore you to make a decision that doesn't have a dollar sign on it. Another overarching theme to tonight's comments is the school's legacy, which dates back more than 100 years. The school has a well-established performing arts program and is the alma mater of David Letterman and former Second Lady of the United States, Marilyn Quayle. And they ask me why. For the alumni and friends, Norma Dardis and Sherry Crawford, the school has made a lasting impression. I no longer live in Marion County. I no longer live in the IPS district but I defend IPS to the wall because of what it has meant to me. Sherry attended and taught at IPS. She's also a graduate of Broad Ripple High and made an impassioned plea to the board. So I stand before you and ask you to listen to your heart. Listen to the type of education that you'd want your son or daughter to have and think about what the legacy that we have here at Broad Ripple High School. The legacy. A topic that Superintendent Lewis Farabee acknowledges is an important part of the conversation. Uh, it's also one that's very emotional, uh, but the insight that we can gain from these experiences uh, are extremely important as we think about the decisions ahead of us. The decision of whether or not to close the school is now left up to the board. They will make their final decision in September.